the cockpit, you got your cyclic, which is the stick or joystick, so you want to call that. Uh -huh. um, that's to control the rotor system, basically how it moves up, down, and around. Okay. And then you got your uh, collective in your left hand, which control the pitch of the, the blades and cause them to go up or down. Okay. And then you got your pedals at your feet, which controls the tail rotor, which will allow it for yaw left and right. The tail, the tail rotor actually yaws? Uh, it'll yaw the helicopter. So with, with the pedal, uh -huh. push more pedal left, it'll turn the nose of the helicopter. Okay. So it actually, it's basically, if you can think of the main rotor turned sideways, it's lifting the tail left and right instead of up and down. Okay. We'll see how far he lets him go. So some instructors are more conservative than others. Uh -huh. I would have him swing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Do they go over like emergency procedures when he's getting his briefing before he flies? Like, yeah, the like, basic stuff. Okay. Um, he went over to escort training, um, which talks about low rotor RPM situations, auto rotation a little bit. The basic stuff. Auto rotation is when you get all your power into your main rotor, so that you still have some lift, but you're still kind of coming down. Yeah, basically the pinwheel itself. Okay. And why is that good? Good, but why is that a? Well, like I said, how does that help? It slows your descent. Yeah, well, if you have an engine failure, uh -huh. you want the if the rotor system stops turning, you fall like a rock. Yeah. So the, as you're right now, the air is being forced in from the top and down. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's sucking it down like a fan. Okay. Basically. And when the engine fails, you still want the rotor system to continue spinning the same direction. Aerodynamically, it keeps the blade spinning and reduces the descent rate, so you're not falling. Okay. You can still control it and 